friends welcome to this summer time huge declutter and satisfying organization in my small home i am sharing decluttering a ton of items out of my house and i'm getting rid of so much donating feels so good and organizing it all is just even better i'm so glad you're here today if you're new my name is carla and this is carla's sweet life So this huge declutter and small space organization is happening all upstairs. I'm taking you guys upstairs and we are getting rid of a ton. Hopefully this inspires you. My goal is to inspire you and get some items out of your home that you're not using. They have no use for them. They don't bring you joy. And hopefully my decluttering tips will help you with that process. And really just satisfying organization. I love doing like the rainbow coordination and having everything look nice and organized. If you are new, we do have four kids. We have a four bedroom. As you saw in the before clip, the bedrooms are pretty small and you know, we just make it work. They're nothing big and extravagant, but it's okay. Like we're just making it work. I try to organize and declutter as much as possible. I would not call myself a minimalist whatsoever. We have so, I feel like we have so many kids, so many items that come with it, especially having a six month old. They need a ton of baby items because they start knowing like what's going on. So I'm starting in Carter's room, which is our baby. He's six months old and I'm just getting it situated so I can move further into my decluttering and organizing project. This just lets me know that I am getting ready to do a serious project and everything else is being taken care of in his room. So I did the things that I knew that would lead me up to decluttering and organizing a specific area in his room. You guys are going to want to stick till the end to see how much I actually decluttered. It was so much more than my actual normal, so you're going to be really surprised. But in today's video, I'm wearing this beautiful jewelry from Ana Luisa. If you've never heard of Ana Luisa, they are high quality jewelry pieces at very affordable prices. They are carbon neutral from packaging to products and really unique. And the thing I liked most about this Ana Luisa jewelry is that it made me feel pretty something about the flowers and the hearts and everything's like very dainty made me feel confident yet elegant jewelry so really love it for that aspect and I just love how it made me feel I really liked putting the necklace and the earrings together because they match. I honestly feel like you can dress this up, dress it down with a t-shirt, yet wear it out on a date as well. So you can go either way, yet you feel so pretty. I absolutely recommend checking out Ana Luisa. They have sustainable jewelry and their prices start at $39. And you can get 10% off with my discount, Carla Sweet Life 10. And all you have to do is click the link down below and I'll take you right to the discount. And I want to take a quick moment to say thank you for watching my last week's video. If you haven't watched it, I'll make sure to leave it linked here and then down below in the description and pin comment all the good areas where you can find it if you haven't watched it yet. I am seriously like so, so grateful for all of you guys for watching. Sometimes like behind the scenes of YouTube, my videos don't like start out great. But because you watched it in the beginning, it means so much. It helps YouTube know that, hey, she's doing good and we enjoyed the video. So it means the world. And just thank you so much for you guys watching any time of my videos. I know I love to do like this secret emoji at the very end. 
but just remember that I love and appreciate when you guys watch any amount of time. It just really helps my YouTube and you know, it does help my family. So just want to say thank you so, so much. And as you see, I did start the process of decluttering in Carter's room. So I was able to get rid of so much. So that's what I'm doing right now is just going through the items. And I was trying so hard. Like if it doesn't fit, I'm like, move on. Like it's okay. It's very hard with baby clothes, but it's also sometimes hard with adult clothes. Like you don't want to let go of it because of a sentimental value an emotional connection to it and just tell yourself, ask yourself, am I going to wear this? Does it bring me joy? I will tell you guys this story. I actually have ran a marathon before and in honor of uh, my dad, because I lost my dad at a really young age. We lost my dad at a really young age to heart condition. And um, maybe I'll go into that later in another video but I ran the marathon in, in honor of him so I put like on the back of the marathon shirt like my dad and um my favorite number that reminds me of him so this is what I'm donating all right here so much I was not expecting to get rid of this much and then these items I'm just going to hang up on some new hangers that my husband got for the babies so I had this shirt for the marathon and I wore it throughout the whole marathon obviously and then but I had it in my closet for years after, right? But when I would look at it, it wouldn't bring me joy. It brought me a lot of sadness. And um, so it was time to let go of it. I have pictures of it and like me wearing it, you know, at the marathon, but it honestly brought a lot of sadness. So that was like my, I guess, turning point to realize like it didn't bring me joy. And I was, I wasn't like wearing that marathon shirt because it was like written all over. It was pretty small. And, um, well at the time I fit in it, but you know, I just want to encourage you if it's not bringing you like joy and if you're not wearing it like it doesn't fit then maybe someone else can benefit from that i'm not sure anyone benefited from mine but it did help my heart to not feel the sadness from not having my dad And we are in Abigail's bedroom now. Carter was taking a nap. It was nap time. So took a break from his bedroom. It was a lot of work in there. So it was kind of nice to break it up and go into Abigail's room and go through her stuff. I had to get right up. I had some 12 months in here. And then, she, I don't know, this girl's just growing so much as well, like, the babies are just growing so much. I'm always having to go through their clothes, but I was getting and decluttering the items that did not fit her anymore. And then you did see me switch over some hangers. My husband went on to Amazon and got those velvet hangers that you saw me hang some of Carter's, but I'm also going to be doing that in Abigail's room just so we can like have it nice. But and it's kind of like bougie, if you've never heard that term. It's kind of like over the top, that's what it means. It's a newer term, I would say. Um, I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. But 
uh, having the same hangers in the closet just makes it look nicer and not as like chaotic. I hope that makes sense. And I really love like the monochromatic hangers. It just looks so much nicer and you're going to see that it really makes a difference. Like as far as like making it not so chaotic. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So this is everything I have decluttered from her drawers and her closet. So crazy. And then I'm also going to switch over her hangers. We, I have a pack here, but then there's more over here. Oh no, they're up here. I knew I saw them somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and do that and switch everything over. And, um, yeah, I wish they were pink, but you know, it's easy for both babies. Isn't this dress so cute? We got it from the thrift store here on base. Thrift store, <laughs> can't talk, but it's so cute. Talking to each other, I know we feel the same about the situation, like we're stuck inside a game. Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar. Let's rewrite the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance, not like anything we've done before, oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Don't be afraid
I will be donating all of the hangers. I ended up keeping the white hangers for Brayden, which is my second oldest. And so, yeah, just want to make everything kind of streamlined and just easy on the eye, easy on the brain. I don't know. I just feel like it makes such a difference. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys do this. I know my mother-in-law did this with... Um, her kids so like my husband and his brothers and sisters like they had a color they had a color for each child and so I just thought that was so genius of her step is always hard when you walk out of the doorway but that's just the place all right and we're all done with Abigail's room Carter just woke up hi sweet boy <laughs> So we're gonna go to his room and finish his room next. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. So I actually still need to do laundry. So when I do laundry, I'm going to go through her clothes as well and then just donate it once I do that laundry. My dreams. No, we can't stay no more. All right, so we're back in Carter's room now and I'm just going to hang up these items, bag up these items, and I think we're done in here. Alright, so this is all I have for Bubba, but like he wears a lot of onesies, so it's not like too bad, I feel like. Here are his onesies, and like I said, I'll go through his clothes that aren't washed. This is three to six months. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I think the rest are good. Nine months. Um, I don't think I went through the pants. He doesn't have that many pants, so I like really try to stretch them as much as they go. They grow so fast, so we go through clothes really, really fast. Obviously, I got rid of a lot, so. That's really awesome. Just organize that. And then these are, oh, I don't know what these are. <laughs> Darn. I may have to go in here. Alright, so I have keepsake items that I'm just putting right there. Actually, I have a bomb in the closet. Let me put this in. Okay, so I just remembered these clothes we got from our neighbor. And I think these are clothes that will fit him now. 12 months. Yeah. So I feel like these clothes are going to fit him right now because sometimes I hold on to like the nine months like just trying to stretch it but this looks like it's going to literally fit him right now so let me put this away and then I'll go through that so we can sort it out just like it was meant to be yeah Going through this round two. <laughs> I'll probably get rid of stuff. Sunset slow, hey, you know you should stay for the night. What you think when we drink while we sit by the bonfire? Cause this might be love. It's a 
Okay, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Round two and I still decluttered some. Let's see you in one day. Like I didn't even have to do two rounds. And now that Carter's room is all done, all nicely organized and decluttered, I went into the boys' bedroom and I started on Brayden's side. He had a lot of clothes. Like, he obviously doesn't wear any of this at once, maybe a quarter of it, because we do laundry once a week. So, um, he just does not need this much. So, I really tried to go through items that he's not wearing and donate them. Also, another tidbit from behind the scenes of a YouTube. I love sharing this with you guys because you've probably, I don't hear this very often, but um, as far as YouTube, the back end, and you guys have been enjoying like those little bit slower paced videos. So what that means for me is that I don't have to spend hours and hours or days and days of filming because I have to fast make the video clips really really fast right so i used to and like i don't i'm gonna hopefully continue this and hopefully you guys continue to enjoy the slower pace videos but i mean obviously it's fast at some point but it's much slower than my other ones so what I'm trying to say is because you like the slower paced videos, that means I don't have to film as long of filming. And it's really helpful because of the babies and my family and I really do love doing this. I love creating this type of videos and so I'm just so, so grateful that you guys have been enjoying the slower pace because it's a little bit slower paced for me as well. So just again thank you and so so grateful so these are all the items i am decluttering from here which is quite a bit uh-oh abby All right, so that's Jake's side of the closet, which looks great. And I really wanted to switch over hangers to the white ones. I don't know if I have enough though, but it just looks messy. I mean, I know it's fine. I know it's fine, <laughs> um, but it just adds to like the wild craziness. And like, look at that difference over there. Oh, besides the one blue hanger. Come take my hand, I will walk with you. I will let go till you say so. There isn't anything I wouldn't do. Wanna make sure that you understand. You're the one who gives my life color. There is no one else. Let me go by 
your side Let me go by your side I wanna stay in your sunlight I wanna wake up with you by my side Without you there is no tomorrow I really like to do the rainbow color coordination any chance that I get, especially when I have a little bit more time on my hands. It will not stay like this, but it's nice at first. Decluttering the upstairs closets, not all of them, but most of them, felt really good going into the summer and just knowing what I need to get for the kids. Like my oldest needs a bathing suit and I think that's pretty much it. But like just knowing that I went through it, they're good for the summer. They're not going to be wearing super small items. It just really brought some peace of mind and decluttered so, so much out of here. These were bags full of donation items. Like, how awesome is that? And speaking of summer, I am just cutting up some fruit that has been sitting on my counter for quite some time. It was some cantaloupe, and I'm be cutting up some watermelon. I feel like these fruits scream summertime right <laughs> I hope you guys know you removed the seeds right I'm sure y'all know Wowza, this looks so juicy. Can you guys see that? Ah, dropped it. Leave me an orange emoji down below in the comments so I can thank you for sticking till the end. 
and happy summer vibes. And now that my boys are done with school, it is officially summer around here. So I'm so excited. Uh, we will be visiting Texas in July. So I'm looking forward to that very much. If you're new, we are a military family and most of our family is in Texas. So we're so excited to be seeing them. And thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this small space organization and huge declutter i am so grateful to be donating all these items and getting rid of some items out of my home make sure to click the link in my description box to check out anna luisa and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel i would love to have you here for all future content and again thank you so much for being here i will see you guys in my next video on saturday Bye.